Greetings, and welcome to the first ever Classical Guitar Composers Podcast. This is the only podcast dedicated solely to you and your compositions for classical guitar. If you've written music for the classical guitar, and you want that music to be heard by either other guitar players, other guitar composers, or just classical guitar enthusiasts, that is exactly what this podcast is about. What the show will not be is a panel of pompous judges who want to tear apart your piece and critique every little aspect of it and, you know, offer suggestions like, oh, perhaps uh, a little less tonality would be more current. No, that's not what this thing's about. Your music is going to just simply be heard and will stand on how awesome it sounds. I'm not going to critique it, we're just going to hear it. And I'm sure we'll hear some, you know, not so great pieces, but I think we're mostly going to hear some incredible pieces because I know there are so many talented composers out there. You know, just at the little college I went to here in Utah, um, I knew like five incredible composers who I would gladly commission pieces from if I were a regular performer. You know, I'd say one of the biggest problems we have in the classical guitar world is just that there isn't that much music available, you know, relative to, say, the violin. Um, You know, violinists, pianists, they have just years and years of just incredible music to draw from. At least we got Bach. We didn't really get Mozart. We don't get Beethoven. You know, most of the greats did not compose for the classical guitar, unfortunately. Now, we have some great ones. We have some great ones. And fortunately, the man I consider the greatest composer of all time, J.S. Bach, left us some beautiful pieces. So, but in this podcast, we're not going to be listening to Bach. We're not going to be listening to Soar. It is going to be the pieces that people have never heard. We're going to be listening to your music. And then that music is going to be heard. And it's going to be heard by people who love the classical guitar. Because that's why they're listening to this podcast. And so, I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking on this podcast. You know, the meat of it is going to be the music. This is probably the most I'm ever going to talk on the podcast. Um, You know, my good friend Elmer once said that... he, He likened my voice to, say, a sharp cheddar. As opposed to his mild Swiss voice. And... Well, he had a good point, and uh, I'm going to let the music do the talking on the show. So let me just give you a quick intro about myself. My name is Chris Hales. Um, I live in Springville, Utah, and I am a classical guitar player. Pretty, uh, I'd describe myself as an amateur composer. Um, I've written a handful of pieces for the classical guitar. And, you know, I think it's a really difficult instrument to write for. And um, it's not always easy to find an audience for... Uh, for classical guitar music, you know, as as big as it is worldwide, you know, it's kind of a niche thing. And so my hope with this podcast is that composers find an audience for their music, you know, and uh, perhaps if you are a guitarist and you're just looking for, you know, some up-and-coming talent to uh, commission a work from, well, then this should be a place where you can sample the works of many up-and-coming composers. So if you've written some music for the classical guitar, please send it in. And I'm going to play it on the show. And let me give you, before I tell you how to do that, I just want to give some general rules I want to kind of follow. First and foremost, send music that is for classical guitar. Um, It doesn't have to be for solo classical guitar. It can be chamber. It can be, you know, whatever kind of orchestration. That doesn't matter. But it must have classical guitar because that's what this show is about. Nylon string classical guitar. Um, I love the still string acoustic. I own several. I play them. Play electrics, all that, all that stuff is wonderful. This show is about classical guitar, so you know it can be classical guitar and whatever else, as long as it's got the beautiful tones of the nylon string. Um, it needs to be a a real guitar played by a real person. So I don't want to play MIDI. Just take the time to get a decent recording. You know, please send in a, a you know, it doesn't have to be like high quality professional studio recordings. But please send something that is not staticky and and fuzzy, you know, something that's going to sound good. Um, you know, you're presenting your work to the the masses. I, I, you know, of course you want it to sound good. Now, if you have guitar, a piece for guitar and other instruments, say, like, say you've written a concerto, I don't care if you've got a sampled orchestra, I don't, you know, whatever. As long as the guitar is real and we can hear the guitar, you know, that's what, that's what this show's about. So that's what we want. And then, of course, it must be an original work. And that's basically my only rules. Uh, go ahead and send 
you know, uh, whatever you want to say about the piece, you know, maybe like half a page about your piece, and uh, I'll read it, and we'll play your music on the show. So to send in a work, um, send me an MP3 recording, MP3, please, um, to chris at classicalguitarcomposers.com. That's chris, C-H-R-I-S, at classicalguitarcomposers.com. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the music. Uh, we do have some music tonight, even though it is our first show. But uh, we have something here submitted by, oh, let's see, Chris H. in Springville, Utah. Now this is a five-movement suite. Um, this is titled The American Suite. Uh, you heard a little bit of it in the opening, and you'll be hearing that one again as the theme of the show in future podcasts. But tonight I'm going to play you the entire suite performed by yours truly and for our next podcast i really hope we will have some music by other classical guitar composers that are out there that i've never heard and you've never heard and we look forward to hearing that so there's a five movement suite it's called the american suite um i'm going to just give you a quick background to this piece most of the movements are in just an aba format and it's pretty simple, but it's sort of a tribute to American music. You know, my own personal nod to blues, jazz, bluegrass. And, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a Native American influence in there as well. So this first movement is titled Porch Song. Um, it's not really a song. Uh, it has no words, but that's what I called it anyway. That's just what I named it. But the basic idea is I was just trying to capture the feel of you know, sitting on a porch, sipping some iced tea, and playing a little guitar. And that's kind of the what the entire work is, you know, going for. The first one's called Porch Song. Second movement, titled Mountain Song. Um, just kind of a nice, easygoing, slower movement. The third movement is called A Languid Interlude. And it's a bit of a nod to blues and jazz. Um, the fourth movement called Canyon Song, I think was the most difficult one to write. It is a nod to Native American music. When I wrote this one, I, was, I tried to study, you know, as much Native American music as I could get my hands on, and it was beautiful, but I found it really hard to convey through the guitar. But, uh, you know, this piece hopefully captures some of the feel of that music. And then the fifth movement um, is kind of back to the bluegrass, uh, roots and it's called river song and uh you know it just kind of ties it, it sort of ties back to the first movement and sort of ties the whole thing together so that will be the music for this week and again if you want to submit some of your own guitar music please email me at chris at classical guitar com. that's chris c-h-r-i-s at classical guitar com. please send uh, an mp3 music file and, you know, any information you would like to come go along with your piece. And I'll be happy to play that on the show. So now I would encourage you to maybe hit pause on the podcast and go to your fridge and pour yourself a nice tall glass of iced tea. Or whatever is going to get you to where you need to be. And find yourself a nice comfy seat. And go ahead and relax. And listen to the sweet tones of that angelic wooden box known as the guitar.
just heard American Sweet, written by Chris H. in Springville, Utah. Hey, uh, real quick, uh, to my friends in Utah, on Friday the 13th, um, I am going to put aside my usual plans of sitting around watching Jason marathons, and I am going to go to Salt Lake and see Scott Tennant. If uh, any of you happen to be there and you have heard and enjoy the show, uh, please come say hello. I will be there with my lovely wife, and I have blonde hair and a goatee, so, you know, go ahead and try all the guys that you see with blonde hair and a goatee, and eventually you'll get to me. <laughs> anyway, thank
thanks again for listening, everybody. And please, if you have some guitar music you want to submit to the show, um, email me an MP3 file at chris at classicalguitarcomposers.com. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.